Would you trust a self-driving car to ever do this? Passing an 18-wheeler in icy conditions while you're playing patty cake. <laughs> or how about these guys? As their Tesla cruises along, they're playing games like Jenga. Too exhausted to drive? How about a little shut-eye? And check out this road trip. Playing cards, arm wrestling, reading books. We found several videos on social media showing motorists putting enormous faith in the Tesla's self-driving technology. The videos come in the wake of the first death of a Tesla driver while on autopilot. That's very foolish. Bob Sorokonich is news editor for Road & Track magazine. You do need to have your hands at the ready and your feet at the ready because you don't know when the technology is going to say, I can't figure out what's going on, you need to drive now. I'm just chilling with my uh, invisible chauffeur. In this video, the Tesla owner is in the passenger seat. There's not even a warm body behind the wheel. Just by myself. It's going about 70 miles per hour. Nico Rosales is the guy in that video. It does seem wildly dangerous, 70 miles an hour, and there's nobody behind the wheel. Yeah, it's a little dangerous, but you know, I have a lot of faith in their autopilot system. Despite it being in the beta stage, it was pretty safe and secure. This Tesla's owner says he had a close call when he says his Tesla suddenly veered into the path of an oncoming car. Whoa. The Tesla driver was so upset he posted video of the incident under the headline, Tesla Autopilot Tried to Kill Me. Had I not reacted quickly to jerk the steering wheel in the opposite direction, I might have clipped it. Whoa. In a statement, Tesla told Inside Edition that Autopilot, quote, does not turn a Tesla into an autonomous vehicle and does not allow the driver to abdicate responsibility.